welcome to Photo Education Online. Uh, I'm Larry Lurcy, and I've had a lot of messages with uh, people asking me to do some videos on some of the different filters that I use. So this is going to be uh, one of those videos. I'm going to talk to you about uh, software I use for my black and white conversion. Um, and of course, you can use this process or this filter for uh, landscapes, still life, whatever you want. Uh, I do primarily portraiture, so I'm going to do it with with a portrait, but. Uh, It'll kind of give you an idea of how everything works and um, kind of show you how the, the filter works and then afterwards I will actually um, tell you how you can get it uh, for a discounted price. So let's uh, take a look real quick. First thing I want to do before I use any sort of a, a plug-in or filter, I always like to make a copy of the layer. So I'm just going to drag this down here to copy and we'll just call this, we'll click that, call it original. So now we can work on this top layer up here, and if we don't like uh, what we ended up with or we think it's too strong of an effect, we can always um, get rid of it later. So that's just something I kind of do before I get started. So let's just jump right in with this image here. We're going to go up to Filter, Topaz, Black and White Effects 2. The cool thing about Topaz is if you, uh, I've got a link in the description. You can follow that link to their website and actually download a, a free trial of this to try it out for yourself. I think you're going to find that it's pretty handy, but uh, this is the basic uh, interface right here. Over here you've got your all your presets, uh, the collections up here, the individual ones down below, this of course is the image we're working on. Then we've got some fine tuning stuff over here to the side. Um, so let's just jump right in. It's You can see it's already kind of uh, dropped into just a, a plain black and white type image. And um, over here you'll see your different collections. Each collection, like if we go into traditional, uh, it's going to generate some previews here. And then down here below, as I mouse over in the window, it's going to show me what they look like. And it's kind of a nice big preview window, which is kind of cool. If there's a certain thing you're looking for, you can just kind of go through until you find it. You know, do you want something cool? Do you want something warm? Um, whatever you want, it, it's in here, which is pretty cool. Then um, what you can do if you say, well, you know, I'd kind of like to compare them. You can click this little box next to the collection. And basically, it gives you all of them right here in kind of big thumbnails. And you can kind of scroll down and decide which one is closest to the, the look you're looking for. And you may say, okay, um, I like the warm tone one right here. So I'm going to click on warm tone one, and it brings it up. If I hit this box right up here, it gives me two side by side. I'm going to hit the magnifying glass and make it a little bigger. So there we go at 100%. That's kind of just a straight black and white. This is with the, uh, the process done to it, which is kind of nice to see um, uh, the difference between just kind of a, a straight black and white, you know, desaturated version of it versus, you can see that's a lot more stylized. It's got the nice warm tone to it. And um, let's reset here, drop back out of that. And let's go back up here to some of the other more out there collections. Now you go through these, there are tons of presets through here, but, um, just for the sake of this, let's drop into this Van Dyke Brown collection. And one of the ones I like to use here is the Raw Umber. If you're looking for a really warm uh, brown tone image, you can see it's a very nice warm glowing type brown tone, which looks nice. And um, once you've got that, you say, okay, well that's close to what I'm looking for. Then you can kind of go over here and, and fine tune it um, with any number of things. You can add some um, some filters to it. Uh, you can, one of the things I like is to go into this conversion area and you can mess around with the different images or the different settings that you have. So you can say, well, I want to add, um, you know, for example, here's our basic exposure. You can up the contrast or bring the contrast down. You can boost your blacks, boost your whites, bring back those whites a little bit. Um, you've got your adaptive exposure here. Play with that. Definitely give uh, your images some pop that way. And it, it helps you too. Some of these, like where you want to protect these highlights, you can play with a lot of these settings. And um, if you decide you don't like what that's doing, just click the box there and turn it off. Otherwise, you hide this, this little triangle there to hide all the details. So you can go in and make as much change to these as you want. A lot of times, uh, I kind of like how they come right out of the, the preset there, and I will go, go with that. But if you want to come in 
and try out some of these. You can do all kinds of different things to it. You can even dodge and burn within here. Um, here you can add some film grain, which looks nice. It gives it just a little more through there. You can add a border to it. A lot of really cool stuff. So let's leave those settings we've got right there. Come down here and hit OK. And there you go. It's kind of created this uh, frame around it. It's got a nice warm tone to it. Uh, let's turn off so we can see that was just the original color image. So that's really cool. You decide that that's a little too much. You can always you know, pull back off of it a little bit. Um, play around with that opacity. But I think that's kind of a cool version of it. Let's say you go back in. Um, let's just delete this layer. And say you want to do more of a traditional looking black and white. We uh, just jump right back in. Black and white effects too. And uh, just go up to traditional. Put them side by side. Bring it up to 100. And then we can just go through any of these. Decide if we want, you know, there's kind of a really cool tone. I love the uh, warm tone one. Use that a lot for just a little bit of, uh, of warmth in it. And like I say, you go through those. If you, you get some that you like, uh, what, what's really cool about this is you can save them up here in your favorites. You say, well, that's one of the ones that's my favorite. Put it up there. And um, that way, if you've just got a few favorites that you use frequently, you can just go to that folder and not have to go searching for the individual filters. You can also kind of change your own settings, come up with your own recipes of exactly how you like it, and save that preset as well. So in addition to the numerous ones they give you, you can create your own and uh, really get it customized. And what I, that, I guess that's one of the things I really love about this, this plugin is that you can go the simple route and let it make all the decisions there uh, with the preset collections, or uh, you can go in and fine tune it as much as you want. So it really is a very ver versatile tool, uh, like a lot of Topaz's uh, products, so it's really good. And um, if you uh, are interested in this product, again, try the demo and uh, just jot down this coupon code. If you'll put in Larry Photo 15, that will get you a 15% uh, discount on the software. So every little bit helps. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So download it, try, uh, give it a try with the, uh, the trial and see if you're happy with the results. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.